Lions think that they're so amazing. All of that king of the jungle chat has really gone to their heads, hasn't it? They sometimes get too big for their boots and go around picking fights just because they think they're so cool. Well, that doesn't always work in their favor, and there are a few feisty little upstarts out there waiting to bring them down a peg or two. From a honey badger reminding us why they are total nutters, to a tiny turtle with enormous balls, here are 20 times lions messed with the wrong opponent. Number 20. Giraffe kicks lion to defend itself. Looking at a long-legged giraffe, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this extraordinary creature, although beautiful, is not one of the most well-equipped but look again. There are loads of animals in the African savanna that want to catch and eat giraffes. They're pretty tasty and make a big meal as well. And so the lanky giraffe has had to develop a particularly effective technique to protect themselves and their young. They have no pointy tusks, antlers, or claws, so how do they do it? Their secret weapon is in their long legs. They have a kick that's so powerful that they'll actually predator if they land a foot in the right spot. So lots of savanna predators don't choose the giraffe for dinner unless they're very inexperienced or if there isn't an easier catch that's available. More often than not, a giraffe can simply outrun another animal, so that's their first line of defense. And they also have great eyesight, so even if a predator thinks they'll try their luck, it's likely that the giraffe will spot them and leg it out before they can even get close. If a creature does attempt to take down a giraffe, they're really risking a proper wallop, and that might even kill them. The giraffe should probably come with a warning label. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Here we have a recreation of a scene that was allegedly witnessed by some bloke once, but you know what they say about believing everything that you see on the internet. This image depicts an encounter between a very grumpy elephant and a particularly unfortunate and soon to be deceased lion as they battle head to head, or in this case, tusk to neck. The result is a gory and kebab-like spectacle. I only hope that the elephant's able to shake off the lion corpse, otherwise dragging that old dead weight about is likely to get him uninvited from all those social events pretty quickly. What do you think about all this carnage? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Honey Badger lives up to its fearless reputation and battles with six lions at the same time. Now everyone knows that honey badgers are psychos. That just goes without saying. But did you know that these nutters are also basically completely fearless? They're in possession of some of the toughest, most robust skin in the animal kingdom, and they're notoriously difficult to take down, even for the sharpest tooth predator out there. They're almost bulletproof and can certainly deflect arrows, spears, and machetes, so animal bites mean nothing to them, and a silly little snake is no trouble to these savages. Even if they do get bitten, it would make no difference to these animals, because they have an adaptation that means that they're not vulnerable to venom and have defenses against the neurotoxins that are present in snake bites. So a nip from a snake or even a scoffing whole venomous reptile for dinner makes no odds to them. In fact, up to 25% of the honey badger's diet is made of snakes. Mmm, delicious. So what with the bulletproof skin, the lack of total whiz given about deadly snakes, and the general giving of zero chuffs about, well, anything at all, it's no wonder that our old clipboard clutching pals at the Guinness Book of World Records have deemed the honey badger to be the world's most fearless creature. So seeing this one take on a gang of deadly apex predators should really come as no surprise. These creatures give no chuffs whatsoever and have all the time in the world to prove it. They are, after all, Pretty hardcore and fairly indestructible, even to a big old load of lions. Number 18. African Buffalo versus African Lion African buffalo have got this defense strategy sussed. 
they're constantly on the lion's radar for lunch, so they've had to develop some mad skills to beat off lion attacks. Let's see what they can do. The sheer size of a buffalo is their biggest weapon. They can use their massive weight and big old horns to deadly effect when they encounter a lion. African buffalo can weigh up to 1,900 pounds and might be as big as 11 feet long. They hang around in massive herds, traveling together makes things safer, and they're awesome swimmers, so this is one of the ways that they can avoid even coming into contact with a water-averse lion. One of their coolest lion prevention techniques is the white birds that often travel on the buffalo's backs, ox peckers. They feed on insects that like to live in a buffalo, but they're also like an early warning system for an imminent big cat attack. They hiss whenever a lion is near. So these are the ways that they can avoid a lion altogether, but just how deadly is the buffalo? Well, these guys don't mess about. If they do come across a pride of sleeping lazy lions, they simply charge right over them. This will actually or even injure those that get trapped under the stampeding herd, or scatter the rest of them, causing chaos and confusion. So the buffalo's motto is surely offense is the best defense, and I sure wouldn't want to offend one of these big guys. Number 17. Hippo versus Lion let sleeping hippos lie. That's the message here, I reckon, and if you must disturb one, you should keep your distance. A lioness stalking through the Maasai Mara National Reserve in Kenya would spot a hippo laying in the grass, and I guess that lion thought that a lounging hippo was easy enough prey, or at least not much of a threat if she went to have a nose around. But boy was she wrong. The huge hippopotamus was quickly alert to the lion's probing and whipped around grabbing the lion's head in its mighty jaws. Not a place to put your head, really. They have gigantic teeth, and a hippo's jaws are so powerful that they can literally crush bones or even splinter a wooden boat in half. This lioness was lucky enough to be able to get free from the hippo's grip with her head still attached to her body, but I should imagine that she learned a pretty big lesson and will probably refrain from poking any more hippos anytime soon. She'll be giving these beasts a wide berth. Number 16. Lion vs. Turtle Sometimes nature is just really, really weird, although you would probably imagine that a standoff between a big fierce lion and a teeny weeny turtle would probably end in exactly one way, you would be wrong. Here, in a delightful couple of minutes worth of footage taken at the Mala Mala Private Game Reserve inside of Kruger National Park in South Africa, a surprising interaction would be captured. As we've seen before, going to the watering hole is very risky business. This is a prime hunting spot where predators lie in wait for easy prey to be at their most vulnerable, but usually it's the lions who are doing the menacing rather than some minuscule little upstart with a territorial dispute. But here we are, this little turtle is having none of these big cats slobbering into its home and then takes matters into its own hand. The turtle gets right up in the faces of the drinking lions and strongly recommends that they go elsewhere. When they continue to get drinks and pay no heed, they receive a sharp nip on the tongue. Okay, so this turtle's unlikely to fight a lion to the death, but you kinda have to admire its balls. Number 15. Dramatic moment of fearless young elephant bull chases off a pride of lions patrolling a watering hole in South Africa. With all of their years of experience, and they can live to an average of 65 years, older elephants have a few tricks up their sleeves. Lions are capable of elephants. The size of a male lion means that even a single lion has the power to take an elephant down, although lions will usually work within a group in order to hunt one. Lions usually take younger elephants and females because they tend to be smaller and therefore easier to wrestle with. Scientists conducted some experiments to see how elephants responded to lions. They played recordings of lions roaring, and the older female elephants reacted first, and the rest of the herd would draw in closer. The eldest of females that were 60 years or more recognized and responded most quickly to the roar of the male lion. Their lifetime of experience had taught them to recognize different dangers by slightly different sounds of a roar.
Elephants are the strongest of all land animals, and not much can survive their tree-felling strength. Even a lion can be overcome by a stampeding elephant. But it seems as though the elephant's best defense is using its brain power. Working together to protect the whole herd, elephants' experience can literally save their lives. So it is true then, an elephant never forgets. Number 14. Heavily pregnant rhino fights off a pride of hungry lions after getting stuck in a watering hole. You know how it goes, you've been having a bath at the local watering hole when a group of flipping lions turn up and start threatening to eat you. Now, they have no respect for your privacy and they kind of just hang around waiting for you to get out of the water. No offer of a towel or anything. The cheek of it all. So bored by their idle threats, you eventually resign yourself to that being the end of your relaxing soap. These lions begin trying to have a go at you. I mean, seriously, have they not seen your epic frame? So, three against one looks like the lions probably have got this one in the bag. However, they do have a go, but the rhino has a tough skin, up to a couple inches thick even, and she is also massive and powerful powerful with a really pointy horn, and when the mighty rhino is out of the water and on equal footing with the lions, she simply outsmarts them. In fact, she just chases them in a couple of little circles and leaves the bewildered big cats in the dust. It's awesome to see, and that incredible creature also barely breaks a sweat. Number 13. Fearless Stray Dog Fights a Lioness whether this little hound is fearless or foolish is up for debate. Picking a fight with a couple of lionesses doesn't seem like the most sensible of options available, but this stray dog, while wandering the Gur National Forest, decided to take on this pair of Asiatic lion. It can't end well, surely, you would say, but as it goes, fortune does favor the brave. In this case, fortune is not getting eaten by the lion. But this scrappy little dog stunned the Indian Forestry Service with its brave antagonism toward the lioness. He barked and bites at the lion, and even though the big cat is much bigger and stronger, it doesn't send the hound running for his life. When people began to see this crazy footage, a lot of them were quick to point out that this was an example of how stray dogs can spread diseases amongst the wild animal population. Some are particularly nasty and can cause some serious problems for big cats in particular, so although it looks like the scrappy little dog gets away with being really naughty, perhaps the lions just knew better and it's probably not worth the fight. 11. When lions attack porcupines, humans suffer unexpected consequences. Now, how does a rodent that weighs about 40 pounds fend off or even kill a mighty big cat that weighs 400 pounds? It seems like there's no way that it could happen. On paper, the lion has it all, the strength, the speed, and the size, but the rodent in question is a porcupine, and these prickly little creatures will have a unique and sometimes deadly weapon at their disposal. You would think that lions would have stopped trying to eat porcupines by now, because it rarely ends well for them. Porcupines, as you probably know, are covered in really sharp quills. These prickly sticks can poke into a persistent lion, which does sound uncomfortable, but these sharp pokers can actually cause fatal injuries. If one pierces the lion's heart or even a major artery, that cat will literally bleed to death. And the porcupine? It will probably just trot away, minus a quill or two. That instant death spear isn't the only way that an encounter with a porcupine can end up in big trouble for a lion. Scientists have discovered that lions, which have porcupine quills stuck in them, can suffer from long-term issues. They may find it hard to hunt, depending on where the quills are lodged, and this can make them more likely to attack a human or a livestock, both of which usually spell death for the lion. A man-eating lion that was killed in 1965 had a porcupine quill stuck right up its nose. Ouch! The lion had been unable to hunt, and his sense of smell was damaged, so he the a human, and that was the end of him. Death by a thousand pokes, or even just one well-placed spike. Number 10. Lions attack crocodile as it's walking on the land. This is a battle of toothsome proportions. Two of the deadliest creatures going head to head makes for a dangerous match indeed. So if the crocodile has the most powerful jaws of all the animals, but the lion is the king of that same kingdom, well then who wins? Lions often hunt in groups, so this would give them significant advantage over the single, less mobile crocodile. But if that fight was one on one, well a battle between a lion and a croc could actually go either way. 
The crocodile is a fearsome creature. If it has the first bite and can get a hold of the lion, its insanely powerful bite could grip tight, allowing the strong crocodile to drag the lion into the water and drown it. Yikes! That is brutal! The crocodile also has a certain element of surprise in its favor as well. They can hide in the shallows and then suddenly emerge to grab a passing animal. Of course, the lion has loads of dangerous skills that make it a deadly opponent in a battle with a big old croc. Lions are more agile, and if they're able to jump onto the crocodile before the croc can clamp down with its deadly jaws, well, that's when the lion can get the upper hand. It's just all a matter of who gets the first bite in this match. First bite and last laugh. Number 9. Two Lions Take On An Oryx Oryx are a type of longhorned antelope so you know where this one's going. Although the oryx is often hunted by the lion, these antelope have developed some techniques to defend themselves from big cat attacks. Lions will pounce onto the back of most of their prey, and this is how they prefer to approach the extremely pointy oryx. And you can see why, because the front of this creature is distinctly more dangerous. So if a lion, working in a group, floors an oryx and manages to keep it there, then it's pretty much game over. That's an oryx for tea. But if that oryx can stay upright and get those horns into play, well, the lion needs to seriously watch its step. Add into the mix that oryxes hang around in massive herds of 300 or more, and they'd only need to be a bit more organized and a bit less easily spooked, and they could make life really difficult for a lion. The oryx's horns can be lethal weapons, and they've killed lions with them before. The scimitar oryx is also sometimes known as the saber antelope, and these horns can be as deadly as a sword. It's amazing that lions haven't met their doom more often and been speared like kebabs on the heads of an oryx. Number 8. Python Teaches Lion Cub a Lesson most lions leave snakes very well alone. That's because they know that they're dangerous and not worth messing around with. However, it seems that this curious lion cub must have fallen asleep in class during that particular lesson. The python, however, is more than happy to offer a quick catch-up session. As the cub pokes the snake, it draws back and then lunges at the big cat's face, sinking its sharp teeth in. The lion cub soon learns that snakes are not toys and then leaves it well alone. It's lucky as well, the python lets it go. Although you could imagine that it had been hungry, this snake could have easily squeezed the breath from this cat and swallowed him whole. They're able to eat antelope, goats, and crocodiles, and frankly, this little lion is not that much bigger than any of those. So he got away lightly with a bite and a lesson learned. Number seven, leopard versus lion, who would win in a fight? Although leopards and lions are both big cats, lions are generally bigger and stronger and with the benefit of living and working in a pride. The leopard, however, doesn't seem to have too much to fear from a lion. They're often hunted by them, although it's been known, usually the worst will happen and frequently does, is that a leopard puts in all the effort of hunting and its meal only to have a group of lazy lions come in and pitch it off. That's right, lions lounge around all day and then can't even be bothered to catch their own dinner. Just wait until the leopard has done all the work and then relieve them of their efforts. This might be why leopards are such efficient climbers and are known to haul their prey up a tree in order to keep it out of the reach of other animals, which includes lions and hyenas who are on the scavenge. What gives the leopard an edge over their big cat rivals is their extremely stealthy style. They're nocturnal and generally hunt at night, so when that's combined with their ability to camouflage and creep without being noticed at all, it makes them a fairly tricky opponent. As usual though, the lion does have an advantage of hanging around in a big group, and that's enough to put off all but the most reckless of leopards. Meow. Number 6. Lion vs. Tiger in claw-to-claw -claw combat, the tiger is a formidable opponent. There are many recorded tiger victories against the supposed king of the jungle, and in ancient Rome, the two big cats were often placed in one-on-one -on -one fight to the death battles. Art depicting the fights generally showed the tiger as the victor. And in more contemporary confrontations, the tiger still seems to have the deadliest of moves. While the tiger and the lion appear fairly well-matched in terms of teeth and speed, as well as general size, the tiger is an extremely powerful and muscular 
muscular animal. So, in a fight against a single individual lion, the tiger has definitely gotten the upper paw. In 2011, at Ankara Zoo in Turkey, a tiger found its way into the lion's enclosure and was witnessed a lion with a single, ruthlessly efficient swipe of the paw. The tiger managed to sever the lion's jugular vein, and with one swing of its super sharp claws, it was brutal. But as tigers, like many of the other big cats, are generally solitary, the lion, again, has the advantage of their group mentality. These guys do know that there is strength in numbers and will use it to their best. Number 5. Zebra Kills Lion It's not often that a zebra can walk away from a lion attack, but every once in a while, a zebra can land that perfect kick and beat a hasty retreat. That's just how this zebra fought off a massive maned lion and left relatively unscathed. It looks like all the lion attacking zebra scenes that you've witnessed before. I mean, we mostly know how this one will end. A bit of a scuffle, a deadly bite, followed by a bit of throat ripping, all before the inevitable pictures of zebra bits and blood-smeared lions looking pleased with themselves. But this zebra had seen that movie too many times, and he was in no mood to become the messy lunch feast of the local pride. In a terrifying moment, the lion and had grabbed a hold of the zebra, and it looked like a done deal. But then, the squirming zebra shook the lion loose and delivered an almighty double-hoofed blow to the surprised lion's face. To add insult to injury, the stunned lion promptly landed in a muddy puddle. The zebra then hoofed it right up out of there. Now, I don't know whether the zebra could actually produce a kick that will kill a lion, but this lion certainly died a little social death and went home with his tail between his legs. Number 4. Wildebeest hooks an attacking lion on its horn and hurls it about. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, the wildebeest has a couple of tricks to throw at a lion. Don't count the wildebeest out. A lion has a wildebeest by the throat on the ground, and you would think that it was all over, except suddenly the massive shouldered wildebeest is back on its feet. This is really the key to this battle, staying upright. Although the lion is powerful, the big cat really needs to use its strength to get its prey onto the ground and keep the upper hand in the situation. Once a wildebeest manages to shake off a lion and stand firm, it changes is everything. The wildebeest has huge pointy horns and can use its weight against the lion. If the wildebeest charges toward the lion, then it should run, run away fast. Because being impaled on a wildebeest horns is going to be pretty uncomfortable, to say the least. Number 3. Can an ostrich kill a lion? Now, this is one big bird. Ostriches are actually the largest birds on the planet. A fully grown male can weigh up to 330 pounds and measure up to 9 feet tall. Also, oddly enough, they have only two toes on each foot and they boast the biggest eyeballs of any land-dwelling creature. A dazzling and fluttery eye lashed two inches across. All the better to see you with, my dear. The big-bodied ostrich is way too heavy to fly and these birds have developed muscular legs to be extremely fast on land. They can run over short distances at a top speed of about 43 miles per hour or over longer distances at 30 miles an hour. Uh, this is one of the ways that the ostrich continues to thrive in such massive numbers. They can mostly outrun their predators and hanging out in a gang makes for more protection. Still though, safety in numbers and all that. Oh, and they have a super cool secret weapon. They have no teeth. But what makes the ostrich deadly is not in its mouth. A single kick from an ostrich is so powerful that it can actually kill a lion. Perhaps they're the Bruce Lee of the savanna. Number 2. Gorilla vs. Lion Gorillas and lions would most likely never actually encounter each other in the wild. Gorillas live in the mountainous areas of Africa, whereas lions live predominantly in the savanna grasslands. But if you want to know which of the two mightiest of creatures would win in a hand-to-hand -hand combat, well, we could have a look at how that might go down. Silverback gorillas are super intimidating. Full-grown males can be six feet tall, weigh anywhere up to 500 pounds, and they're not to be messed with. The thing is, though, so these guys are actually vegetarians. That doesn't mean that they aren't able to snap an opponent like a twig, it just means that they're not really interested in eating them afterwards. The lion, though, does kill to eat, so that makes him a different sort of opponent. Weighing around the same as a silverback gorilla, an African lion is fairly evenly matched. <laughs> 
If a lion were to use its stealth to attack a gorilla, it would definitely have the upper hand, but if the gorilla was aware of the lion, then it has much more stamina and would eventually wear out the attacking lion. So there's not a lot in it really. The mighty strength of the gorilla might swing it in his favor, but the lion has all the hunting moves. I'll leave it up for you to decide. Number 1. Warthog vs. Lions Although warthogs are not usually aggressive towards bigger, scarier animals, they'll definitely fight back if cornered by a lion. The warthog is well equipped for defense, and these wild pigs have longer legs than any other type of pig and are really quick when they need to be. The warthog is especially good at slipping out of a tricky situation with its deft and skillful evasion techniques. It can actually run circles around a predator. Although they're pretty small, they're speedy and agile, and this is a huge advantage in a fight. If they're under attack, the feisty warthog is the proud owner of some humongous tusks and they're not afraid to use them. These tusks can inflict some serious damage, especially on a lion, which, although a fearsome predator, may be easily injured on these colossal canines. Their tusks are simply overgrown teeth. An impaling on the massive tusk of a warthog defending its babies could spell death for any creature, even the scary old king of the jungle himself. Well, that's all today from the violent world of lions and their enemies. Which of these encounters surprised you the most? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.